Progress won't always be flashy. It'll be measured in disasters averted and lives saved and a planet preserved. In days just like this one, 20 years from now, 50 years from now, 100 years from now. But can you imagine a more worthy goal, a more worthy legacy than protecting the world we leave to our children? So I ask your generation to help leave us that legacy. I ask you to believe in yourselves and in one another. And above all, when life gets you down or somebody tells you you can't do something, to believe in something better. There are people here who know what it means to dream. When Muhammad Abidi was born, the suffering he saw in refugee camps in Lebanon didn't drive him into despair. It inspired him to become a doctor. And when he came to America, he discovered a passion for engineering. So here at UC Irvine, he became a biomedical engineer to study the human brain. And Muhammad said, I had never come to the United States had I never come to the United States, I would have never had the ability to do the work that I'm doing. He's now going to Caltech to keep doing that work. Cynthia Flores is the daughter of a single mom who worked as a seamstress and a housekeeper. The first in her family to graduate from high school. The first in her family to graduate from college. And in college, she says, I learned about myself that I was good at advocating for others and that I was argumentative. So maybe I should go to law school. <laughs> and today, Cynthia is the first in her family to graduate from law school. She plans to advocate for the rights of workers like her mom. She says, I have the great privilege and opportunity to answer the call of my community. The bottom line, she says, is being of service. On 9 11, Aaron Anderson was a sophomore in college. Several months later, he was in training for Army Special Forces. He fought in Afghanistan, and on February 28, 2006, he was nearly killed by an IED. He endured dozens of surgeries to save his legs. Months of recovery at Walter Reed. When he couldn't physically return to active duty, he devoted his time to his brothers in arms, starting two businesses with fellow veterans and a foundation to help them fellow wounded Green Beret soldiers. And then he went back to school. And last December, he graduated summa cum laude from UC Irvine. Aaron is here today along with four soon-to-be commissioned ROTC cadets and 65 other graduating Cynicism has never won a war, or cured a disease, or started a business, or fed a young mind, or sent men into space. Cynicism is a choice. Hope is a better choice. Hope is what gave young soldiers the courage to storm a beach and liberate people they never met. Hope is what gave young students the strength to sit in and stand up and march for women's rights and civil rights and voting rights and gay rights and immigration rights. Hope is the against all evidence to the contrary, that there are better days ahead, and that together we can build up a middle class, reshape our immigration system, and shield our children from gun violence, and shelter future generations from the ravages of climate change. Hope is the fact that today, 
the single largest age group in America is 22 year olds who are all just itching to reshape this country and reshape the world, and I cannot wait to see what you do tomorrow. Congratulations. Thank you.